Great morning to you, great minds. This is Lady Flora. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Monday Morning Mind Maintenance. I see your mind growing in the right direction already. The fact that you chose to come to a place where you will be uplifted as your mind is nourished by the bread of life and living water is proof of that. My personal goal is to use every avenue possible to fulfill God's call upon my life to encourage, enlighten, and empower people to be transformed by the renewing of your mind, as it is written in Romans 12 and 2. God had us to begin the new year by introducing a new thing. He said not to promise the new year any resolutions. He commanded me to do a new thing. And have the new year to produce the promises to me. I like the sound of that. So I decreed that this year would be a year of bondage breaking. If you believe and receive, you can take hold of this promise and be free in your mind as well. God has given us every tool we need in his word. Life is a series of events of learning and teaching. If you can take your focus off of the destination you will be able to learn to embrace and enjoy the journey. So let me help you out. Spoiler alert! (laughs) In the end, you win. Stop competing, stop fighting people, stop putting others down so you feel higher, stop gossiping, just stop. Look up and live out loud. In our last session, Monday number two, We learned that we are flawlessly flawed. God created us this way. So you don't owe anyone daily explanation about your flaws. We only need to surrender to Christ, repent, allow him to wash us clean and cleanse us to make us new. When your past truly becomes your past, not something you back and forth or flirt with, but when you are really delivered from that thing, you can focus forward knowing God has your back as you obey the word according to Philippians 3 and 14. This week, let's embrace the fact that God not only created us with these flaws, but he equipped us with free will, which is the power to choose. So no matter where you are standing in life today or where we end up tomorrow, we've got the power. If you don't like where you are, Put one foot in front of the other and ask God to order your steps according to Psalms 119 and 133. Don't worry, I know it's hard to trust after being hurt again and again. But he has already promised to never leave or forsake you. If you begin to feel afraid, stop. Find yourself in the word at Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Realize that our creator is able to fix anything that has been broken in you. But when he created you, he gave you free will and he will not go against what he created. He loves you and is waiting for your permission to come in and restore you. Behold, he stands at the door and knocks according to Revelations 3 and 20. Open up and let Christ in. You've got the power. (laughs) Free your mind and the rest will follow. Thank you for joining us. Be blessed and always remember, if you feel lost, find yourself in the word of God. Be blessed.